Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. Now we bring your creative ideas to life with an exciting robotics project. This time we have built a colorful and creative Bluetooth RGB LED controller using Arduino Uno and a mobile app. This project was inspired by request from Alex, Martin, Christian, and artist Hersnal, who asked for a full tutorial video. Keep your ideas coming, and who knows, your request might be our next feature. Let's dive into it. Here's what we will need for this project: one Arduino Uno, one Bluetooth module HC05, one common cathode RGB LED, one 220 ohm resistor, one breadboard, one USB cable, some jumper wires, and of course, a mobile phone with the RGB LED control application. Link given in the description below. Let's start by setting up the connection. Take the Arduino and breadboard. First, connect the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the positive rail on the breadboard and the GND pin to the negative rail. Place the RGB LED on the breadboard, connect the red pin to pin 9 and now connect the green pin to pin 10 and blue pin to pin 11 of the Arduino. Connect the common cathode that is GND pin of the RGB LED to the negative rail of the breadboard using 220 ohm resistor. Now insert the Bluetooth module to the breadboard. Connects its VCC to the positive rail on the breadboard, connects its GND to negative rail. Connect the TX pin to pin D0 that is RX pin and connect RX pin to pin 1 that is TX pin. Now important note here is that disconnect the Bluetooth module while uploading the code to avoid error. Double check everything with your circuit diagram to avoid errors. Now download the code and the library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. Now we start by including the software serial library. This library lets us use other digital pins on the Arduino for serial communication. We'll use this to talk to our Bluetooth module. Here we define a software serial object named MyBlue using pin 0 for RX and pin 1 for TX. This connects to the Bluetooth module TX and RX pin. Important note, since pin 0 and 1 are also used by the Arduino's USB, avoid using the serial monitor while the Bluetooth module is connected. Now we define the digital pins that are connected to the red, green and blue pins of our RGB LED. Now in the setup function, we began Bluetooth communication at a 9600 baud rate. Then we set the RGB pins as output so we can send signals to the LED. In the loop, we check if the data is available from the Bluetooth app. Then we read three integer values, red, green and blue, each ranging from 0 to 255. These values are sent from the mobile app as a comma separated input like 255,0,100. We pass the values to the set color function and finally, we clear the serial buffer using serial flush function to prevent overflow. This function takes three arguments R, G and B and writes them to the respective LED pins using analog write. This is what gives us a smooth color control. And finally, this function clears out any leftover data in the serial buffer so it doesn't interfere with the next color update. And that's it. Now before uploading the code, make sure to remove the TX and RX pins from the Arduino. Then connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button. Alright, now connect the TX and RX pin again as connected earlier. Here our Arduino is ready to communicate with the Bluetooth module. You will see the LED on the Bluetooth module start blinking, indicating it's ready to pair. Next open the Bluetooth setting on your smartphone and scan for new devices. Look for a device name HC05 or HC06 and select it to pair. E prompted for a password, then enter 1234 or 4 zeros. Once paired, your smartphone will remember this connection, making it easy to reconnect in the future. Now download this RGB LED control application directly from the link given below in the description. Open it and connect to the module. You will see three sliders level R, G and B and this controls the red, green and blue. And one slider for the brightness level of the LED. Let's slide these sliders and watch the transition to any custom shape. Don't want to use sliders? No problem. Just tap on the color picker circle and select any color and the RGB LED will instantly reflect that color. And also right above the slider you will notice a hex code is displayed. This code represents the exact color you have chosen. Super helpful for design and digital art projects. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.